When we forage, we're not gonna go rip down the entire forest. I think that's common sense. Be respectful. I usually, if I find a wild plant, I'll just acknowledge that it's there if I know I wanna harvest it and look around and kind of scope it out. And there's some plants like fiddleheads where you're actually like killing the plant to eat it. If you take the entire thing, so you might wanna take like two fiddleheads or like a blueberry. If you pick all the berries, the next year the blueberry is still gonna produce blueberries. Just make sure you're respectful with, with the plants. Let's, let's move on, let's warm up and move. I won't rip down a whole branch, but if you take a whole branch, it's probably gonna be fine. Um, trees are pretty resilient, but if I see a whole bunch of trees as I'm hiking, I'll just gather like, you know, one Eastern hemlock branch or two or something and, and then just keep a handful of that. So if anybody wants to gather a few of that, we'll make a tea and then we'll compare like the white pine, Eastern hemlock, spruce trees. Anybody wanna hang on to that and be the spruce keeper? Any of these coniferous evergreen trees we see out here right now, you can make a tea out of the needles. And when we make these teas, we don't want to boil the needles. We want to pour boiling water onto the needles because it takes out the oils and it makes like a pine saw if we boil it. So white pine is awesome because we have a lot of it. So if we grab about this much, like a handful of pine needles and make a tea, they say it's 10 times more vitamin C than an orange. So if you're sick and someone's like, drink orange juice, be like, actually, no. I'm gonna drink some white pine and heal faster. So Greenbrier, this is actually one of my favorite wild greens to eat and you can make a good salad out of that. So if you guys wanna come over, take a picture and touch it, get to meet it. And then you can eat like these tendrils that are new on it. It's cool, it's really cool. Notice how we say weeds when we go to our garden and we'll grow these vegetables that m may or may not be more nut less nutritious than the plants that we're ripping out. So that's just something to think about. It's like a lot of the, like the, uh, the lamb's quarters. I just let those grow in my garden because they're like 10 times the vitamin A of spinach. And it's like, why should I grow spinach when I can just plant these wild plants that are gonna grow there anyway? And uh, so. To me, they taste like spinach. Yeah, yeah, they have like a, yep, mm hmm What was that called? Lamb's quarters. Is that the same thing as lamb's wool? It's also called goose foot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. lamb's quarters are goose foot. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard of that. This is uh, pokeweed. This is a plant that you really have to be careful with because it does become poisonous. So when they, you know, when you forage, they say right part, right season, right time, right preparation, right? Like acorns, for example, you can't eat raw, so you have to prepare them right. Or this plant, you have to have the right season, the right part. You have to prepare it right. And the roots, you should not go for the roots. So just make sure you're getting the aerial part, but only until it's about that tall. It looks like these green leaves with a little bit of purple come up. And it's like this, um, what's that, the endive? It's kind of like that shape coming out of the ground a little bit. Okay, but the berries, if you eat the berries, they'll throw up, but they make really good dye and paint. Does everyone know what a draw knife is? It's a knife that has two handles and you bring it towards you. I don't have one on me right now, so I'm gonna make one. A really, really makeshift one. Oops. We're gonna gather some. Yeah, this is pretty fresh, so we, we can probably gather some uh, some good stuff. So see this coming off here? If anybody wants to pass that around and smell it, you can peel off a little bit of that, a bit of that white. All right, so what plant is this? We all know white pine, okay? So yeah, we can smell it, which is good because that means it's, it's more fresh. So I just made a little really makeshift draw knife. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and everyone come get really close. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's delicious. So no one better never buy candy ever again. I want to see you all <laughs> making pine bar candy. So I come and what I'm doing now is I'm scraping off. And actually this, so you see, if we look at like a big white pine tree, it has that really rough bark and it's hard to, like if you guys look behind you, that bark's gonna be really hard to get it, get through. So we wanna look for this nice smooth bark. And we could actually, another thing we could do with white pine is there's these sections of branches and there's gonna be no branches in between except for like, you know, the occasional loose one. But we wanna look for nice square sections. We can actually cut the whole bark off and peel it off and make baskets. You can just, you know, pinch the uh, corners together, make little makeshift clothes pins or, you know, weave some root as cordage through it. And you can actually boil water in that, which is cool, by getting hot rocks and putting them into it. This is like the best foraging tool actually because when I gather acorns I use this end just to pry the acorn meat out of the shell and then when I gather wild roses I use this end to scoop the seeds out. So this thing's awesome. The lobsters, they should advertise them as that, right? <laughs> so acorns really don't taste like anything um, when they're prepared which is great because then you can mix them into a whole bunch of stuff and uh, I've made I made a whole bunch of stuff out of acorns, acorn brownies, acorn cornbread, acorn crackers, acorn pie. I just made a blueberry acorn pie. Uh, the fat in the acorn was deer fat too, so it was like, it was like a 90% wild pie, which was cool. Um, with time to make that though, it would probably be like $80 a slice if I was making minimum wage. <laughs> um, and that's the thing about acorns is they take a while and everyone always gets deterred by how, like how slow acorn processing is. But if you think about like, you know, if you watch Netflix for an hour at the end of the night, just sit on your floor and crack a few acorns or something and just keep that collection of broken acorns going. I usually go up and I'll pick like one berry, one berry and put it, but then when I go home, I have a, a final product that I can just use right away. But then my friend, he comes and just strips, sticks, leaves, everything off. He gets more for his time out in the woods. But then when he goes home, he has to spend time sifting through things. So I spend my time sifting through the acorns in the woods so that I have a, you know, a lighter load and not, not much to waste at home. I was just telling him I had, had four giant spruce trees in my house that I just bought the house in August. And uh, unfortunately, I had to take down the store over the house. Um, but I chipped them up, cut and chipped it up myself. And, like, that's all. That's, <laughs> it's that. Yeah, yeah so there you go, right? Get your medicine. That's cool. Is it good for you? Yeah, we can have it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Ten times more than Wow. Hey, you guys want some chicory? Got plenty here. I love some. It's just like a yeah. dark, earthy, yeah. bitter, bitter beverage. Yeah. Did you forage that chicory? It's called green willow nut because that's the type of because yeah, it was cut. Hair. We stripped yeah, the leaves off of it and we wove, you know, we wove the basket yeah. in just a few days. So every plant has its different thing, but just don't, just make sure you're respectful with, with the plants, okay? And foraging is very sustainable. Humans have done it for thousands of years. So go out there, pick your plants, eat them, and just know that you're getting like organic, local, free food as long as you're being respectful about it. The other rule too is if you don't know what it is, don't eat it. <laughs>